Thank you, Jeannie. Thank you all for being here. It's a great example that you're setting. It's testimony for the sanctity of life. It's a great day for a march. It's a great day. This is football weather. Let's go. What an incredible honor to get to introduce Ben Watson, talented individual on the field, talented, courageous, fearless leader off the field. He's making a difference in the lives of so many. It's my pleasure to introduce somebody who speaks truth, clarity, and grace, combines bold conviction with kindness, fearless, humble, and courageous, proud father of the Watson Seven, a helpful warrior for the sanctity of life, Please give a great welcome to Benjamin Watson. Hey, coach got me ready to go play some football. Yeah. It is an honor to be here with you all, March for Life. I've been calling the period of time we're in right now the new fight for life. Roe is done, but we still live in a culture that knows not how to care for life. Roe is done, but the factors that drive women to seek abortions are ever apparent and ever increasing. Roe is done. But abortion is still legal and thriving in too much of America. Roe is done, but even so, in the cold and the snow, you have continued to travel from around the nation to this place to recognize that the fight for life is not over. God's word challenges us in the book of Micah to do justice, to love kindness, and to walk humbly before our God. I believe that this is the essence of what it means to be with every woman and for every child. With uncommon courage, we must do justice, not only by protecting innocent preborn life, but by correcting injustice and rebuilding opportunities so that mothers and fathers can flourish. With deep compassion, we must love kindness by offering a continuum of care that provides lasting resources and support. Unless we think we can continue this work in our own power, may we always realize that our wisdom and our strength is found by humbly seeking God's direction for the path ahead. Emotion runs really high in mountaintop gatherings like these, but the battle is won in the valley. Men, in a country where too many of our marriages are crumbling, go back to your homes and fight for your families. <laughs> Civic leaders, in the current climate of compromise, go back to your committees and your communities and legislate for life and for justice. <laughs> All of you frontline workers in pregnancy resource centers around the country and other life-affirming organizations. Go back to your post knowing that every encounter is not simply about saving one child, but you are saving generations. And all you young people, with all of your, with all of your energy and all of your ingenuity, go back to your schools and go back to your teams and your churches be leaders that are unashamed to stand for life. <laughs> friends, friends, keep pressing on, keep pressing on, keep pressing on until abortion is not only unthinkable, but for so many who think that it's necessary, it will no longer be necessary. Friends, keep, keep, keep pressing on. God bless you.